What's up guys, I'm Brian Sakawa, you're watching He Spoke Style, and today we are talking about five fragrances that are perfect for spring. First up, we have a fragrance by Xenia from the Essenze collection. This is Italian Bergamot. This is Xenia's take on a classic Eau de Cologne, and as the name suggests, Bergamot is the predominant note here. You also get a little bit of Neroli, but I have to say that this is not a citrusy fragrance at all. Um, if it was more on the citrusy side, I probably would have waited to include it in a summer fragrance roundup, but the Bergamot here is really, really well balanced with vetiver, which as it dries down on my skin at least, is what starts to come through the most. Projection, I would say, is about a medium. On my skin, it lasts from six to eight hours. This fragrance is very fresh. I think it is quite sophisticated, and it is also very versatile. Could easily be worn throughout the day or at night. Next is a fragrance by Lolabo. This is Santal 33. If you are not familiar with this one already, the best way I can describe it is to say that it's, it's kind of like that song that you hear on the radio all the time, but you have no clue what it's called or who sings it. This is one of Lolabo's most popular fragrances and I guarantee that you have smelled this before. Typically, I tend to stay away from fragrances like that, but this one is just really good. You get um, woody and leather aromas, but it's also very fresh. It's not sort of like an overpowering wood scent. Santal 33 gets a lot of shade because it is ridiculously ubiquitous. There's a lot of really smart journalism about how it got to this point, and I definitely recommend Googling it and reading up if you're interested. The joke nowadays is that there aren't many people left that don't smell like this anymore, but as much as I want to not like it because of that, I just can't because it's a very good fragrance and I do really like it on my skin. Next up is a Creed classic. This is Original Vetiver. Vetiver, if you didn't already know, is a tropical grass native to India. Usually the root portion of the plant is where the oils are extracted from, but Creed actually infuses the root, the leaves, and the heart of the plant for this fragrance. The result is, as you expect, it does have a very grassy smell to it. It is very fresh, and as it starts to dry down on my skin, I do get slight hints of citrus, and then almost sort of a soapy quality. Very clean, very fresh. Creed on their website calls Original Vetiver vivacious and sophisticated, and I think that is a really, really good characterization of this fragrance. Like many Creed fragrances, this one sort of seems simple on the surface and it just works, but as you drill down into the subtlety of it, you really start to appreciate it even more. This fragrance for me is a great everyday spring fragrance. Next up is a fragrance from the House of Amouage called Dia for Man. This one for me is a very, very classic masculine scent. I've read some reviews online where people say that it reminds them of the way their grandfather smelled, and I like that. I think it's it's a very cool facet of this fragrance that it can evoke that sort of nostalgia for people. This one was an instant hit for me. I was first introduced to it at Oswald in New York City, which is a fantastic fragrance boutique. This fragrance is, again, very masculine. It has a bit of a spice to it, but it is light and it is subtle. Uh, it doesn't have a huge projection and it doesn't stay on my skin for that long, maybe like four hours max, but I'm not saying that as a negative thing. Dia for Man is like the perfect fragrance for a date in my opinion. It has a kind of subtle and timeless sexiness to it that is only going to be shared by uh, someone who's sitting close to you, which makes it and you even more intriguing. Finally, we have a phenomenal fragrance from Tom Ford. This is Oud Fleur, possibly my favorite Tom Ford fragrance ever. Now, as the name suggests, you have both an Oud note and a floral note. The floral note to me is what pops out the most and it is a very distinct rose. But do not think that because this has a pronounced rose note that it is feminine, it is not. There are other sort of rose-centric fragrances out there that are marketed as a unisex fragrance. I'm talking specifically about Lolabo Rose 31 that to me definitely skew way more toward the feminine side, but Oud Fleur is decidedly more masculine. The rose is uh, balanced really, really well. There's a sort of a spiciness to it, and as it dries down on my skin, it definitely takes on a bit of a smoky quality, which is really, really nice. This fragrance for me is like the perfect nice event or nighttime fragrance for the spring slash summer. 
So those are five of the fragrances that I am liking for spring right now. Links to all of them are down below in the description. As always, I would love to hear of any favorites that you guys have. Leave those down in the comments. Thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And until next time, thanks for watching and stay tailored.